Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back up the stars. Let's go. Chapter 2 of a priceless murder case 11. Let's go. Got the video up, one. Now I'll check. Now I get the evidence. Well, I got the evidence. There you go. Okay, James, now let's get this simple. You'd like to find the victim, finish Hugo's problem to end up for examination. Yes. Alright. Put this jewelry back together. There we go. Okay, there's a jury really, and there's an in inscription around the jury that says for a hollow. A rough, rough diamond. Usually people say diamond in the rough, but rough diamond is kind of a just backhanded compliment. Was how the one who broke it in itself? Alright, let's ask her. Yeah, I wonder why she did that. Glad she said he was nice, huh? Yeah, right, see what this message on the brick. <laughs> Another chat to say the brick says, Jin, right? Bad is forever data. I will put a dent in you. Ew. Where, whoever was this nice was starting to get the victim that came with the break. You're right. That has to be the first to classic compared to John Sebastian, which means the but that is from the chalice at the bottom of us. The person has been dead for over 20 years. So what does well, it mean that he is forever dead? Why that the victim's fault? Well, we have to interrogate Isabella about the strange threat. Yes, we shall. Ask her about that. Uh-huh. You first. And it is a bad lip. Ms. Incoming, we found this page. And it, oh, you're broken. Could you tell us about it? Yes, that was a gift from Ms. Incoming. For just like that one. It's tough. No, I suppose. <laughs> Tough love, you mean this? Back in a couple he paid you about me in a rough diamond? Yes, he always did that. All I ever got from him was businesses and pay cuts. I'm still learning the trade and I make mistakes, but even for my harmless errors, Mr. Lemmack had made yes, a penalty cost and took it out on my paycheck. Paycheck. As Victor Hugo wrote in how enough is punishment is to me. You must forgive, I do trust, but my boss, you yeah, really do forgive us. Why don't you quit working with him for him? Like I say, I offer every Wednesday at lunch, and I go for us, noise. I says out of house, based on real diva, and think about never going back. I can't give up the outrage of the from him. He was a major master jewelry and I worked hard to get this job. Well, you did decide to keep your job and lose him, boss. Okay. Ah, jeez. And now the chance uh, they could have, uh, you know. Man, remember that if it's ain't why did you? <laughs> why do you mean when you brought Monsieur that and the dead friends and why did you attach the message to a brick? So I did that him. He denied. Denied that and that music I would never ever play when he denied my instrument. I know that happened. She gave me a list of songs to learn to play for the list. <laughs> 
basically to attack, attack more people by his uh, selections were the most famous for make trash in musical history. I refused, but he told me to play the song or leave, and I refused to leave. Then I tried to grab my instrument from my hand, and I fell to the, and fell, and fell it fell, then it fell to the ground. And then in my 20 year old instrument, it was voice, which was ace, as the drive is described as for fine wine. Not even a hall of Victor's Hugo's trilogy can reflect the deaths of my sister. Now, why the conspirators in my age and my way didn't vanish for what I said, I tried. So, but, I decided to play some storm piece on my injured cello to let my anger out again. Well, we hope that was that was far as you took your message because channels are allowed in prison. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see y'all tomorrow after I come back to work. Let y'all peace.